Welcome back to Andres Today. We're today, we are jumping to Dexter, season three, episode four. So the title of this episode is called All in the Family. I think that was a TV show. So the last episode, girl, child, women, boys, men, how you doing? Um, the last episode was get it was good. I let me tell you guys, my greatest, I'm gonna say it in every reaction until proven wrong. But Deb is my favorite person in this whole damn show. I actually get excited when I watch the show, mostly to see Deb. I think she is the funniest character. Whoever wrote this damn character and the actress who plays this character is freaking amazing. Um, I'm sure in this episode we're going to get more of um, Miguel, Dexter, and then annoying Rita. She's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby. Dex is finally coming in one terms with that. So I'm happy for him. Happy Father's Day. Um, you know, that's gonna be weird. But um, overall, and then in the last reaction, I do know I, I thought that you guys, uh, the vast majority didn't like this season, but it seems that a vast majority does like this season. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> But um, I'm really excited to get into this episode. I'm hoping that Deb will make me laugh because, honey, that's what I need, that's what I crave, and that's what I want. This intro is now over. So with that being said, guys, let's jump into this reaction of Dexter. I found out exactly what Dex and Deb has got to give. Role playing, such an important part of growing up. Oh gosh. Treacherous Nazi, horrible alien. I played them to perfection. I can imagine. I don't want them to hear it from somebody else. Okay. Uh-oh. Dexter and I have something we want to talk to you about. What? Uh-oh. We're having a baby. <laughs> Which one? Which one would you like? A puppy? <laughs> but you're not even married. No, we're not. Why not? Uh-oh. You know, I'm going to grab the potato salad so I don't forget. Oh, gosh. We're going to rush into this, too? I mean... It's not the worst idea in the world. Should we what? Get married. Uh. This is not something we're gonna decide today. Go get your stuff together. We don't wanna be late for the Prados. Uh oh, the the daughter's not happy. That was ridiculous. He should say something about ridiculous. Just wait. I really just want you to stay. Hey. My gosh. People don't get married because it makes sense. Would you have asked me to marry you if I wasn't pregnant? Oh. I won't marry again unless it's because someone loves me. Okay, Rita. Being a father and being a husband are two very different things. I don't want both. Unless it's real. You don't have this conversation wherever the f- she is. <laughs> How about I go for my family? Hmm? Ramon, no. I have to go. Oh, she went running over there. You know, we could help Ramon find peace if we told him Oscar's killer was dead. Right. Ellie you know, seems unstable. He's troubled. He has a temper. He's my brother. I can help you. He's very unstable and he's very crazy. It's a big burden. Not everybody can handle a secret like that. Uh, You're uncomfortable enough with me knowing. Trusting my brother is just too much right now. I get it. Oh. I need some perspective. Uncle Miguel, Astro won't let me play in the cabin. Uh, so sharing is one of the rules. Who is rule? You're not my father. Oh, Aster. She's reacting to my botched proposal. She's so concerned about us not being married. Mm. I know my daughter. She just needs some attention, some reassurance. Okay, thank you, Rita. Aster is auditioning various roles. Wounded child, sullen preteen. <laughs> force my way into Rita's life. Any more than I can force Miguel to trust me over his own brother. Oh, God. I do have a day job. Dead body. Forgot what type of show I was watching. <laughs> That's oh, what real shit. love looks like. Real love? Well, real love plus loss. She looks like the girl on Better Call Saul. You saw the assailant. He knocked her over as he fled. That's how she got the bum knee. Uh. Damn, your butt's buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a Boost Mobile, Dad? Oh. You're in more with a shield, but come on. The great lease is off. Oh. The man you saw fleeing, he was about six foot, you said? And I met Jack at the coffee place where I work. Okay, girl. Something inside of me just recognized him. Before. Too many times. We can look at some mugs. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying with Jack. Jack has to go to the morgue. <laughs> you can't take that. It's his favorite cap. Give it back to Ramadan. You won't. 
Uh, that I, Joseph Quinn, will personally make sure that hat comes back to you unharmed. Okay. Like fucking witness whisperer. <laughs> You're my little girl, and you always will be. You know that, right? Okay, Rita. Nice outfit for work. You and I, we have to work on being kinder with each other. Do you think you can help me with that? Oh. Rita, we need you out here. Shut up. She's talking to her daughter. We were on our honeymoon, but uh, we couldn't see anything. Ugh. Florida, so there's really nothing. The brochure said, ah. watch the sunset over the ocean. Oops. I want a higher floor, a better view, and better lighting. It was way too dark in there with the curtains closed. With the curtains closed. Right, we don't have a better room unless you build one, and being a bitch isn't going to change that. Yes! Really sorry, but I just can't afford to employ you anymore. Real got fired. I mean, Rita. Hey, sorry about the way Aster treated little Carlos yesterday. Carlos is a tough kid. He can hold his own. Oh. But if Miguel has a problem with me, he will tell me himself. I mean, he said he did. <laughs> My mother was killed when I was a kid. I'm sorry. Hmm. And when your homicide department gets off its ass and starts doing its fucking job, maybe then me and my brother will move on. He is crazy. Must have misinterpreted what he said. Yeah. Tell Carlos I said howdy. Uh. <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask you about Chicky Hines. Oh, gosh. You're... Witness is, is a habitual criminal who's just trying to beat his latest drug rap. Oops. Have you even met Chicky Hines? I mean, have you... I don't like that name. What's this really about? An innocent man behind bars. Maybe. Accepting the truth about James Dokes, that was hard for all of us. Oh. Uh... Maybe you think he was railroaded, I don't know. She does. But you know me. You know I'm a pro. I also know you're human like the rest of us. Marie! Giving us anything we don't already have. Yeah, except for more stories about how perfect your dead fiance was. Hey. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, sorry. More than your ass. Thank you, I fucking noticed it. Ha <laughs> uh, not really my thing. I'm fleet combing my dog that night. I'm fleet combing my dog. A2, Dex Day. Wouldn't miss it. Aww. The lead players with all those emotions must be exhausting. <laughs> Couldn't get any more out of her? Officer Morgan. The woman's a wreck. Oh God. I, I don't remember. He ran right by you. I was I was surprised. Let's take a deep breath. I knew. Why is this happening? Okay. Let's, let's not picture it anymore. Matters. <laughs> Why don't we take a break from all this and we'll go look at some bitches together, okay? I see whispering when he talks to her like that. I'll set it up. And then, that's okay. I got it. Okay. They say I should glow. Am I glowing? Not at all, girl. And ask for my job back. Really? I always got the impression you didn't particularly like that job. Mm. Rita, if we got married, we'd have joint assets. You wouldn't have to worry. <laughs> That's disgusting. No. No, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> Many hard roads we've traveled together. So you've had a long time. No, a couple of weeks. Oh. How old do you know Quinn? He have something to do with your day being shit? Maybe. Mm. What's his story? Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Does have to be either or? In my world? Yeah. Oh. The man gave me an opportunity and I took it. Interesting. You would have no CI. True. And I'd be drinking alone. I doubt that. Those girls are so weird. Ooh, you're a hungry man. What? Well, the compliments are free, but an hour of my time costs. He didn't hire a prostitute. Oh. Tonight, all night, I am. Ah. Just shut up and go with this. You goddamn deadbeat, motherfucker! Hey. Oh my gosh, Dude, I'm angel. Well, whatever you do, don't suggest elopement because a wedding conflicts with the big case you got coming up. Oh God. You and me, buddy, making the woman of America sick. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Romanos, I ran into Ramon last night. Oops. Tried to reach out to him, make a connection. I think I just upset him more. It's okay. It led to a really good talk. Oh. But when and if you ever feel comfortable telling him, I think Ramon is ready. Why do you think that? Bribing people to come to your keynote address? Uh, the whole donut thing works for you, doesn't it? <laughs> you remember that statement you took from the Chicky Hines alibi? You want me to recite it by heart? Mm. You know, the alibi comes from somebody trying to beat a drug rap. It's solid. Angel, you better be careful. Why wouldn't they want to support a valuable colleague during a shining moment? 
You're like the foulest person I've ever met. Oh. You can also be completely revolting. And sometimes that's all people say. Oops. Help yourself. I saved you one with the cream filling. <laughs> yeah, I'm Detective Barbara Gianna, Metro Vice. Can we talk? Right. Department has had a lot of shit dumped on it with a Bay Harbor butcher. Looking to make the news getting busted with hookers. Right. Does any part of you think that any part of me is proud of what I've done? Part of me really cares. Yes! I lost my little girl. Halfway down the road to a full-blown cliche. Hmm. A divorced alcoholic cop. I, I found affection anywhere I could. Sheesh. I hate anyone who disgraces the badge. I hate liars worse. I'm not lying. I know. Good job. You keep your dick in your pants. Unless you're A, playing with yourself, you are doing something consensual and legal. Okay. Oh, God. Here comes crazy. An ongoing concern. But not a priority, right? Oops. Then why am I getting calls from a guy who says he saw Freebo in Miami? What? You ignored him. He called you four times. Never happened. Okay, that It was anonymous, Maria. Oh, did I forget to leave my name? Oh! You can find excuses, or you can get off your asses and try finding my brother's killer. Ah! Oh. Just do your fucking job. He's kind of annoying. I hope his uh, time on this season's over soon. I'm a little tired of the Prado family right now. Oh, me too. Girl, I was tired of them since episode one. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> Stakes are too high, and I'm on a roll. Maybe I should call Rita with an anonymous tip to marry me. Please don't marry Rita right now. The sooner I'm done with the weeping fiance, the better off I'll be. <laughs> and right here, and bash this for me, will ya? The head dab! Woo! Oh, look at it! Dex! <laughs> you know what, Fiona has her facts wrong. She described the assailant as six foot. Right. An exact match for your shadow. You mean fucking wheat bag Fiona's height and weight? No, I'm... Yes, indeed! I missed that. Interesting. You and Jack planning a big wedding? Yeah. Mm. I called a lot of people and none of them have ever heard of you. Oh! It was right after we met. Did he get a chance to see it before you killed him? Oops! Oh, what, what, what is she talking about? I don't... Photoshop, Fiona. You photoshopped it, Coral? He comes home, tries to throw your ass out, and you kill him. Break in on TV? Did you create the same sketch that they show on TV? Oh! Uh. Did no, he ever even say no, more than one fucking coffee no, to go? That's no. it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait outside, officer. I'll take it from here. She's doing an interrogation. Let her be. He's crazy, I think. How it really was between you and Jack. Mm. It's amazing. She's so convincing. I'm talking about him. I'm going to kick his Cadillac driving ass. Mm. Quinn played me like a fucking $20 guitar. Shh. Is he gonna use his speech for Rita when he wants to propose to her? Oh my god, I can't. Made me real. She believes it. Down to her core. It's not an act. The actor in that room is Quinn. He's gonna do his speech. Without a responsible adult to share them with or shame me, I would eat them all. Okay, girl, we see that. My people have come across evidence that could get the case reopened. Witness statement, giving Hines an alibi, another suspect, all of which checks out. She's helping against Miguel. Two plus decades doing this job and a cop's never once handed me a get out of jail card. Especially when that cop's got a history with the ADA who put my guy away. Right! Prado know you're coming to me with this? Well, you better be wearing old clothes because the shit is gonna be flying in your direction. <laughs> Fine, I'll meet you. You got a favorite bar? Yeah, I know what. Order me a rum and coke. I'll be there in 10. <laughs> Unless you order his favorite and keep him waiting. And waiting. Oh my gosh. Next time you're playing good cop, bad cop, you fucking let me know I'm playing tip. Sure, until you are. Why didn't you tell me? Because you'd have blown it. Oh! Morgan, you got one tool in your toolbox, and that's a hammer. Let her be! Just don't have a poker face yet. Maybe yours is a little too good. But this one ain't gonna become frenemies. They're ready for me, actually. Yeah, I heard he made a scene. Uh, sorry. It actually, it was an eye opener. Mmm. He's putting his career at risk. And it could hurt your reputation. I'm not gonna be responsible for that. Oh. Uh? And we can trust him. Call him. But he's gonna be so drunk. Why don't you just get the bartender to call you a taxi or I'll con Uh oh. 
and you're here. Boys night out. Like you're some kind of example in this family? Uh-oh! I mean, you're like some fucking kind of Batman and Robin? Right. Go! Put fucking hands up! Ah! Uh. Hey, that guy over there, the drunk one, he just put his hand on that girl. She's pretty upset, and I think I saw a gun. Ah! Uh. Pleasure in manipulating Miguel this way. Still, I think he preferred it to my usual alternative. Ha 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 ha! Is that guy a cop? Well, I guess I ran out of ways to say I won't be your fucking rat. Uh -huh. Cracked the case mostly on his own, and I'm wondering why someone hoping to get our shield would let him write it up that way. Ooh. He got the confession, so it's his win. Unless he used you. He's it, girl. Except the only question he's asking is how everything can benefit him. Okay, girl. Jack is looking down. We're gonna soon hopefully find out about Quinn. I used to play on this beach right here. Me, Ramon, Oscar, they knew you inside out, the good and the bad. Mikel has a lot of stories. <laughs> I lost Oscar to drugs long before he was killed. Mmm, the truth comes out. He can't be trusted. Couldn't you, I, I only have one person I can trust anymore. Don't say Dex. I was thinking of you. Oh, God. I can just see that you're used to carrying your secrets to yourself. Interesting. See, I'm used to having a brother. Share the load. Is he drunk? I'm hoping maybe you'll get used to it too. Interesting. Very interesting. To have a friend. To have a wife, a family. Lord, we're going down this road. Fiona wanted it so bad she invented it. Played all the parts herself. She's crazy. But if you play a role long enough, really commit, does it ever become real? We have to learn more about Quinn. God, is he gonna propose by the end of this damn episode? I'm so surprised you didn't call. The door's over there to enter the house? A string of days and nights waiting for something to happen, but... Oh my God. Rita, we're connected. Wherever I am, I feel you. Mm. I want us to always go out for banana splits. Banana splits? And I never ever want to miss a pizza night. And that's how I know I want to marry you. <laughs> Okay, Rita. Yes, Rita. Be dramatic, girl. But not without the kids. I'm gonna hang on to you for dear life. Please. Say yes. Aww. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh. Oh, so we. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> you hone your craft. Work diligently. I just find yourself cast in the role of a lifetime. It's so weird, and it's cute at the same damn time. Oh, well. So the ending of this episode was amazing. It seems like Dex is going to be now not only a father, but now a husband with the whole damn growing family. Um, live, love, want more. So I'm really curious more to learn about Quinn. What is this deal with him? We have been getting it since episode one. I want to now know. I want to know, and I want to know now. We also got that Ramon, the more Ramon, more Miguel. I'm hoping in the next episode we could like, I don't know. I know we're not going to like lean off of like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not really. The Prado family, I'm hoping that it gets a little bit more spicier than Ramon being a drunk. Like I know they're establishing the storyline. I got it. Um, I really got it. Um, but I don't know, Miguel, the character, isn't doing anything for me at the moment. And I'm hoping as we continue on in the series that I'll be more interested in Ramon and Miguel because like right now I don't care. Actually, to tell you the truth, I'm more interested in their wives because I think like their wives are gorgeous. And I'm like, oh, I want to know what they're doing. Um, I'm more involved also in Quinn and Deb's story than anything. This episode, we didn't get anything that decks of killing anybody, but we did get that crazy lady, Fiona. So that that actress also reminds me very, very similar to the last one of the episodes I've seen of Better Call Saul. As I was watching, I'm not really sure. She kind of does look a little bit different than that actress, or maybe it's the same actress and they just switched around. If anybody watched Better Call Saul and know what episode I'm talking about, please comment down below. Is it the same actress? Overall, I did really enjoy this episode. It didn't give me as much last as the last one, but as long as I have more Deb, I am fine. With that being said, guys, if you've seen this reaction, you realize you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Also, can you please like and share this content? Because it does 
wonders for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.